what's going on everybody welcome to your seventh angular js tutorial in which we'll be learning about ng repeat directive in angular and somehow i missed that in the last tutorial uh, my aim was to explain you ng repeat in the last tutorial itself but uh, it somehow got skipped so never mind let's learn what is ng repeat in this tutorial so ng repeat is yet another directive in angular js which we often use make use of when you are kind of looping the data and we have got some complex versions of ng repeat as well with filters and controllers which we'll be learning soon but in this tutorial we'll be looking at a simple example of ng repeat so let's make use of whatever we learned so far in angular and javascript so let's say if i create a div of let's say ng initialize that means uh, store the data with ng in it and I say let's say my favorite language and I create an array so inside this array um, let's say I create a kind of object so what we can do is I can give it a property which is name uh, this should be set to PHP then the next thing would be um, extension maybe we can say and it would get dot PHP then another object another property let's say name or this should not be in the quotes name um, JavaScript extension dot JS then another one to illustrate name um, let's say Ruby and extension and this should be RB and what else let's end up with um, C++ and the extension should be undoubtedly C++ I guess I have uh, missed a full stop for any of the extensions okay so now we have got a bunch of data ready in our ng init of favorite languages so I want to um, echo it out uh, in separate span tags so what I can do is let's say or not span let's say p so that they all appear in separate lines so I'll say p ng repeat and this is yet another directive which I was talking about in this tutorial and I'll create a kind of a for loop which we learned in JavaScript section but without any for keyword so we'll loop it again and again let's say for language in my favorite language and if you are familiar with JavaScript then we have a similar syntax like for X in array and we loop like uh, whatever print X dot um, name or X dot extension we do like this uh, mainly but in angular what we'll do is we have to evaluate it like an expression so we will put double um, curly braces here and I'll write uh, language because we are working with my favorite language as a temporary variable language dot name would give us the name of the language selected br and let's say extension would be language dot extension simple as that so um, let's check this out in the browser let's re reload this and we get name php extension dot php name javascript dot js ruby dot rb c plus plus dot cpp so sounds much more comfortable and convenient than a traditional for loop in javascript and now you can see that we have actually not touched even the script tag even once we are just making our html language dynamic with angular js so that's one of the most um, favorite things in angular js that you kinda make your HTML interactive itself instead of 
uh, introducing JavaScript to your HTML to do the stuff. So you add life to your HTML code. So that's it for this ng repeat tutorial. And in the next tutorial, maybe we'll be discussing about some more advanced concepts in Angular JS. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my videos. Thank you for watching.